Lions offensive lineman Dan Skipper spoke out for the first time since the debacle on Saturday night. Dallas Cowboys versus Detroit Lions. The two-point conversion play where Brad Allen, the referee, said that Taylor Decker, the left tackle, did not report as eligible. He ruled that two players could not report as eligible at the same time because Lions offensive lineman Dan Skipper said that he was reporting as eligible, or at least um, Brad Allen thought that he was reporting as eligible. Now, According to various people that I've talked to, two offensive linemen can indeed report as eligible, and I've also gone back and looked at a couple of plays this year. Two offensive linemen can report as eligible. However, as we've talked about in previous videos, the Lions still lined up incorrectly because since Dan Skipper was deemed as an eligible receiver, he lined up at tackle, which is an ineligible, ineligible position. However, Dan Skipper says that he was not motioning to report as eligible. He was actually motioning to his teammates a personnel signal. So, personnel, you signal in, Dan Skipper told Dave Burkett of the Detroit Free Press. I wasn't wiping my numbers. I was not doing that. I was doing this. This is what he says that he was doing. Holding one arm in the air and then holding his right arm to his chest and then holding the number two signal, basically the peace sign. Um, and the signal there is 12 jumbo, which is the personnel. Two tight ends, but one of those tight ends is an extra offensive lineman, which would be Skipper in this case. Or I believe they actually lined up Panay Sewell as the tight end, so he would technically be the quote-unquote jumbo guy there. And then Dan Skipper took his place at tackle. Brad Allen interpreted this as... A, a signal that he was reporting as eligible, and I did too until Skip out, Skipper came out and clarified this. Quite frankly, that makes a whole lot of sense, man. Dan Skipper does indeed seem to have not been reporting as eligible in this situation, and he was doing a personnel signal. Either that or... Or it confirms my previous theory that he was signaling. He was like, oh crap, I can't do that. I got to think of some other excuse on the fly. Maybe he was indeed changing it to a personnel signal. That's very possible. But once you listen to Dan Skipper here, it makes total sense. He was giving a personnel signal. He was not, indeed, not um, signaling to the referee, Brad Allen, that he was reporting as eligible. Allen assumed that he had done so earlier. And Dan Skipper continues here that typically you have to go to the official and very directly tell him that you were reporting. Taylor Decker did go and tell him that he was reporting. He didn't give a very clear and obvious chest rub. He did put his hand on his chest very briefly, Taylor Decker did, but he didn't rub it. And that's what I think confused Brad Allen because you're really supposed to rub your chest just to make sure. It's not a written rule in the rule book. I went and checked that. But just to make sure, you should say report and then rub your chest just like the NFL kind of released that video in order to emphasize that really to cover their ass. So there's some elements of it that I felt like was just there to confuse the Dallas Cowboys and it ended up confusing Brad Allen. And you can also says right here that Dan Skipper is willing to, and ready to move on from this situation. I mean, shit, you can't sit here and wallow in the past, he said. So it's time for us to move on from this situation as well. I figured might as well make one final video on this since Dan Skipper spoke out.